Here we go. Okay, so a couple things to talk about here. Uh, one is the website I run, which I started two, three years ago. It's called sportingboon.com. And the reason I started that was because uh, currently we basically have zero newspapers that cover any of our sports. Okay, when I moved here in 1998, we had two newspapers, and one of them came out every single day. It was a daily. And the other one was, I think, once or twice a week. Okay, so now our athletes currently get zero um, coverage of any sort, unless we happen to be playing like Perry, for example, uh, that has a newspaper, and we'll, we'll send somebody to cover that. Then they'll give special mention to our athletes. Okay, the other thing was, I wanted to try and connect uh, current, uh, you know, people in Boone to the past. Okay, so I've tried to do, for example, some articles on former athletes like Chad Reinhardt, who's an NFL football player, right? Played for the Chargers and the Bills and uh, the Redskins, um, and, and lots of other people. We have a lot of a lot of people that have excelled and done, you know, really good things that people, um, of course, in your generation probably wouldn't know, um, but people that still live here and um, have lived here, you know, for a couple of generations, uh, they can make that connection. And so, if you pay any attention to it, you'll notice that the platform is what we call Sidearm. So Sidearm is the same company that, um, the same platform that has like Iowa State's athletic website, Iowa, and most major universities, okay? Now the cool thing about that is um, there's a lot of a lot of possibilities with it. Um, some of those you see during baseball and softball, okay? Because for example, in baseball, Eric Verhelst he takes stats for all the baseball games. So when he gets done with the baseball game, he loads a particular uh, stat file onto the website, and it automatically populates um, a stat page there. And then when I write a, a, a summary article about it. I link that with the stats, and for example, if uh, Rochi here had two home runs, it automatically populates his picture right next to the article and says, you know, he had four at bats and you know two home runs and seven RBIs or whatever. So it's kind of cool. So there's a lot of possibilities if you ever wanted to help with something like this. Obviously, if you want to do things like writing, you can do that. You can take pictures. Um, you can deal with stats. You can build like rosters, schedules. Um, there's the, the possibilities are really endless. And um, some of you have expressed interest, I know, in athletics and athletic, like for lack of a better term, athletic director. Um, I don't know how much this is tied to an athletic director, um, but some of it would be. Um, some of it's also tied to what we call sports information. Okay, so every university has. Um, sports information departments that work on all of this, okay? And uh, you, could, you could deal with stats, okay? Um, input stats for football, or if I could find some people to take stats during a basketball game. Um, during baseball softball, we do what we call live stats. So when people can't go to games, they can still follow it batter by batter, pitch by pitch on our site, okay? So that's kind of cool. So there's endless possibilities here to kind of that sports information thing. Um, every roster has a part where there's bio information. So, you know, uh, if we had someone work on that, you know, you, you could, under Nathaniel Winter basketball, under his bio, you know, you could put in things like, um, you know, score 25 points against Bonrant Farrar um, on this date or whatever. So endless possibilities here. Obviously, most of you have been in the gym, right? So we have two new video boards in there, and there's a lot of possibilities with that that haven't really even been tapped into at all. We're still trying to figure it all out, really. But basically, what we need eventually people to do is help create content for that, graphics, and um, maybe even you know hype videos things that we can use during contests. And, and it's not supposed to be really something we just use for athletics as well. 
you know, I don't know what they're going to do, if anything, how they're going to utilize it like during homecoming, but those are things that they could use it for. So um, if you're ever interested in something like that or helping to run it during a contest, it's really easy. Everything's run on iPads and it's, it's way easier than a traditional scoreboard that we've had before. Um, so the other thing we're eventually going to do is hopefully generate a lot of advertising on the, the scoreboard and video boards. So we have to create advertisements and um, in the next few months or whenever Mr. Collins gets around to, to dealing with that. So, so there's a lot of opportunities there. Uh, does anybody have any questions? Now that I don't coach a, a major sport like girls basketball, you know, I'm still assistant tennis coach, but that doesn't take all that much time. Um, I have more time to devote to these types of things. So hopefully I can uh, continue to kind of increase the, the amount of things that are on it because the more things you put on it, the more people that go to it, you know. Currently it probably averages uh, in a month's time uh, a couple hundred views a day. You know, like some days there's 500 page views, some days there's 75 page views. It just kind of depends what's happening. So, I don't know if you guys knew this too, but with the, the video boards, there's a fan app that goes with that, and we're going to have to publicize that. But, so like during the volleyball match the other night, you can download the fan app, and then if if Boone TV is streaming the game, whether it's basketball, volleyball, whatever, you can watch that on the fan app, along with everything that's on the scoreboard. So you can follow it point by point, but you can also see the video stream, which is kind of cool, something different. You don't have to go to YouTube, for example, and find Boone TV. You just go to that fan app, and then, and then if Maggie gets a kill, then that populates down in the stats. So set by set, you can just follow and see how many kills or blocks or whatever aces a player had so so that's kind of cool I mean, whenever, whenever somebody wants to. I mean, we'll find something for them to do, or what, or figure out what they want to do, what they would be interested in. So, oh, hey, the other cool thing about this, uh, and this is something somebody could get involved in. Uh, we don't necessarily have to have anybody run this, but you can. So we can set an iPad up or a phone or whatever somewhere in the gym, and during the match, let's say Maggie goes up and slams down, you know, a huge kill. So we can we can basically press a button on our end over at the scores table, and it'll automatically reverse 10 seconds and capture that highlight. So then after set one, for example, if we have five highlights, we can play that on the video board after set one, on the, on the three minute break between set one and set two. So it's kind of cool, right? Yeah, that's tough. Assuming we have highlights right now, we can do it. All right. Cool. Yeah. It is kind of cool. I mean, it's it's something that nobody in the conference has. So, I mean, Carol has kind of a lame video board, separate from their scoreboard, which no one ever looks at because it's separate from the scoreboard. And then Winterside has one right below their scoreboard. So, yeah. Yeah, ours is definitely. Guys, let me know if you have questions. Yep. We'll right. help you out. Take care. Good luck tonight, Bowl Bears. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Good luck tomorrow, Maggie.